One of the first DAWs I came across when I initially started producing music was FL Studio. It's a fully functional DAW that works well for both amateurs and experts. In terms of appearance, LMMS is the app that comes closest to FL Studio, and it is also free. To begin with, LMMS supports Mac, Windows, and Linux and offers limitless track recording and playback. The greatest FL Studio substitute for Windows users, in my opinion, is Cakewalk from BandLab. Cakewalk was a complete DAW that Sonar provided to us, but BandLab just acquired it and made it available again for free. Producers can get a free second professional look at a DAW with stage light. Although this would be an excellent choice outside of FL Studio as well, the layout kind of makes me think of Ableton Live. Cubase is a fantastic DAW that offers creators everything they could ever want in a DAW. It is incredibly user-friendly and enables quick processing. On YouTube, there are a ton of instructional videos that include tutorials that are jam-packed with lessons. One of my personal favorite DAWs is Ableton Live. On two separate laptops, my band utilized this often every single night. For people who want to perform their music live in its authentic form, Ableton Live was created. A fantastic DAW that only works with Macs is called Logic Pro X. Even though this can be a downside, it's fantastic for anybody searching for a professional-grade DAW other than FL Studio. Reaper adds its voice to the discussion by providing users with a highly vibrant community in addition to all the features a DAW should have. Reaper's incredible speed in loading, compared to other DAWs, is one of its selling factors. This is mostly because of its small size, the downloader is under 20 megabytes. The software developers did a great job in Reaper of keeping the coding weight to a minimum as well.